Good morning, my crafty friends. This is Lori, Girl on the Ridge. <clears throat> In a happy place on a morning, Saturday morning. It's freezing rain outside and it's all yucky. So it's a good day to craft. Today I have a, a um, design team um, flip, not flip through. I was sent a design team box from Crafty Me Shop, Esmond. And I wanted to share it. And then I wanted to show a couple projects of how I'm using this stuff. So she sent me this awesome box wrapped up in this beautiful gold sequence material. It's absolutely gorgeous. So that's that. And it was in this. Some. Um, she does this. It's, she calls it Hocus Pocus. She dyes some of her laces. And it's in. They're in all natural. Um bark, tree barks, and moss, and all different kinds, and she comes up with all these different colors. So I did peek at this, so she had it a lot neater. So she had uh, some of this. It's almost 3D. Let's make sure I'm in for rain. And it is a uh, Facebook page. You just click on Crafty Me Shop. And you have to be approved. And she has um, live sales on Friday night. Usually around 6 o'clock Eastern time. But that changes from uh, week to week sometimes. I know next week is going to be a little earlier. Aren't that pretty? Like It looks like a collar. I mean, she just has the most gorgeous kinds of lace. This one, I think she dyed. Because I got it in white. Isn't that pretty? And then these. <clears throat> she has all kinds of appliques. And I'll show you a couple projects that I used. How, like, I would use this. I would probably cut it, cut this out, maybe cut the leaves out. But you have to glue them. So you can, you don't have to use them in one big piece. Oh, these are so pretty. Some, she gets French laces. She just gets the most awesome laces. My hands are all gluey because I've been working all morning. That's pretty. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Esmond. And that. Look at all this goodness. Some of this I may try to dye. More tea dye than coffee because I want it lighter. Look at them. Now this, you can make a lot. You can cut this a lot of different ways and put this on little trim. So there's a lot there. Because she sells a lot of the stuff at her on her auction. Well, sometimes it's an auction. Sometimes it's a sale. <clears throat> and it's by the yard. So even like this, you could snip these off and make a lot of little goodies. So there's a lot there. So that was my beat like little paper clips. Oh, God, look at this. Then the bigger stuff. Wider. Isn't that pretty? Then this. And every week to week she gets new things. Awesome. Or also. It's that. Very pretty. I love this little stuff for my little boy. Oh, see? And these make really cute flowers. Or the, I got glue all over. The little tiny um, paper clips embellishments. <clears throat> that would make a lot of paper clips. So when you do, if you go over there and you do um, look at it stuff, look at it as cutting it up, <clears throat> as using it, you know, individual, like you could use it like that. And again, I'll show you on the projects. Isn't that pretty? Those look like grapes. They probably are. Those are pretty. That's different. I do not have that one. Look at how pretty. And then this, again, those are really easy to snip and use singly. And, oh, this one's really pretty. Look how pretty that is. And this one, this is more crocheted. Oh, this one. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my God. This one you definitely can cut 
and have like one rose hanging and I've done that. Isn't that pretty? I might when I die him I might like take maybe this this much. Maybe try a um just a little tea mixture. I have some different color teas. So I showed you that one. Oh look I see another little flower one for maybe like little um paper clips. Another crocheted one. Look at that. Tiny, tiny. And oh, look at these flowers. Look at them. She has such a variety. That's it's so fun. And then this one is kind of crocheted with little flowers. And then this little beauty. Look at that. Oh, so that's what came in my design team kit this month. Yeah, I'll fold this all back, Esmond, I promise. Now what I've been working on this morning, because I was excited, is... A traveler's notebook with two envelopes. Right here, yep. Now here you'll see. Now this was a big piece of all these um, mint green flowers, so I separated them. So you got one there, one there. I, I took one there, one here. This is um, a long piece that I I snipped off, and then there's just all different laces underneath it. Like that. So this will be a traveler's notebook, and then I just made some envelopes. Again, this was a piece um, of one of the laces, and I just took two sections of it and flipped it over, and then put the little flower. I mean, there's just so many hundreds of ways to use the different laces. And then this one, I just used one of her flowers that I had gotten with all these little dingles. Dingles. Dang. <laughs> She calls them dingoes. Dingoes. <laughs> and with, um, really, she dyed this, I believe. It's like an aqua, light aqua, almost like little cameos. So I just left this. And I got to finish the inside. I just started these. So that's the one kit. And then the second kit, or the second set, <clears throat> is, oh, these flowers. This, again, was a big piece um, let's see, do I have one here? I know I showed them before. All right, like, say, um, she's, she'll sell them like this. You can cut these a lot of different ways. You know, if you want, you could do a set of three, or you can separate them, and that's what I did, and, um, here. So this was, um, a, a set, and then I put that, and then just all, um, Different laces of hers. These aren't done yet, but they will be shortly. I was thinking of a wedding for this one. And then pretty envelope. Again, I cut the flowers out. This is a piece of the, um, her wider lace that I love to get. And then just some um, silk I had. Some older stuff. Some of the t Sometimes when I do these lace creations like this one, I'll get some of my older lace, like this was an old tablecloth, and put that down as my base. And then the better lace, the more vintage lace, I'll start, you know, bringing in to layer it. This one I love. Did I just show that one? No, this one. This was my favorite. This is a couple of her pieces. This one I just put muslin down. And again, this isn't finished. But I did hit it with a little antique or vin antique linen distressed oxide to um, just tame it down a little but I thought these came out really pretty so that's what I am playing with today and then this is what I bought last week from her <laughs> it almost looks like a corset is that not gorgeous I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it 
I'm definitely not going to be cutting it up. I'll probably make some kind of a wall hanging. It's huge. And it isn't that gorgeous. So that's what came in my order along with a bunch of other stuff. But that's isn't it just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So again, there's the Crafty Me Shop on Facebook. There's no link. You just got to put in Crafty Me Shop on Facebook and then click join and then you'll got to wait to get approved. So, okay, these are the projects with some of the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, uh, laces that she has. And I will be back because I'm going to, this is going to be a full day of playing. So we'll see you soon. Bye.